And this weekend, the Brazos Valley will be seeing extreme drops in temperature, as Ashley just mentioned. And while many residents are planning on staying in the warmth of their own home, there are many people that will struggle to find shelter. And our KX's Andrea Uribe has more on the nonprofit opening their doors this weekend. The City of Bryan is working with local organizations to provide a list of options for warming centers and shelters this winter. As temperatures drop below freezing, homeless individuals will need places to turn to. We knew this front was headed this way, so we've been in the process of working with the EOC, with the cities of Bryan, College Station, Texas A&M, Brazos County. Uh, we want to make sure that all of us collaboratively working together, we can provide some sort of shelter for those who are on the streets. While everyone else will be locking themselves indoors this winter weekend, one shelter will remain open to help those escape the freeze. Twin City Mission has already made plans to accommodate to as many people as possible. We used to offer one meal a day for free, lunch or supper, to anybody in the community. Well, we've upped that to two meals a day. Uh, they can come in and get lunch and supper Monday through Friday at no cost to them. So that's how we're helping, hopefully, uh, meet that hungry aspect of dealing with the elements. Anyone and everyone in need of a warm place this weekend will be welcomed with open arms. They can come in and, and get relief. If, they're on, if they want to stay one night, two nights, three nights, we're not going to turn anybody away. You know, uh, we have to have some compassion. Drea Uribe, KAGS News. Now, the City of Bryan will be releasing a list of warming centers and shelters people can go to later in the week. And Twin City Mission is always accepting donations and volunteers to support the homeless individuals here in the Brazos Valley.